Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. So in this video, I will be discussing about a passage to India, its summary and analysis of part 3 that is temple. So let's start. So in chapter 33, hundreds of miles west of the Maribar Hills, Professor Goodball or Godball stands in the presence of God during a Hindu birth ceremony. Godball prays at the famous shrine at the palace at Mao. Godball is now the minister of education. He sings not to the God who confronts him during the ritual but to a saint. The ritual does not does not one thing that the Hindu that the non-Hindu would consider dramatically correct. By chance, while thinking about a wasp that he sees, Godball remembers Mrs. Moore even though she was not important to him. So in chapter 34, Dr. Aziz, who had taken part in the ceremony, leaves the palace at the same time as Godball and sees the professor, who tells him that Fielding arrived at the European guest house. Fielding is making an official visit he was transferred from Chandrapur and sent on a tour through central India to see what the more remote states are doing with regards to English education. So in chapter 35, there are two shrines to a Mohammedan states in Mao. These commemorates a man who, upon his mother's order to free prisoner, freed the in inmates at the local jail but whose head was cut off by the police. These shrines are the sites where the few Mohammedans in Mao pray, pray. Aziz goes to the shrine of the head with his children, Ahmed, Jamila and Karim. The, the children seize Fielding and his brother, brother-in-law and tell Aziz. They suggest throwing stone at them, but Aziz calls them. Aziz, who is fortunately in a good temper, greets, uh, greets Fielding although he had not intend to do so. Now in chapter 36, the birth procession had not yet taken place. Although the birth ceremony finished earlier, all would culminate in the dance of milk maidens before Krishna. Aziz could not understand the ceremony any more than a Christian would puzzled that during the ceremony, the people in Mao could be perked from suspicion and self-seeking. So in chapter 37, Fielding and Aziz are friends again, but aware that they can meet no more. After the funny shipwreck, there is no bitterness or nonsense. Aziz admits how brave Miss Quested was and claims that he wants to do kind action to wipe out the wrecked business of the Maribor forever. Fielding realizes that his wife does not love him as much as he loves her. They realize that socially the two men have no meeting place. Fielding cannot defy his own people for the sake of a stray Indian and Aziz is but a memento. Aziz explains what he can of the birth ceremony to Fielding. They discuss who should rule India. Fielding mockingly suggests the Japanese but Aziz wants his ancestor, the Afghans, to rule. To Aziz, India will then become a nation. Aziz cries down with the English that certain, then states that only then will he and Fielding be friends. So that's all from my side. If you have any queries, you can ask me in the comment section. Please like, subscribe and share my channel. Thank you for watching.